What a glorious sight, a magnificent English army looking over the opposing hill at a Scottish army ready to defy its, uh, its rival. This is the Battle of Falkirk, a Legionnaires, dated in 1298 and was an English victory in, uh, in history. But obviously we're here to try and change history or maybe we're going to repeat it, who knows. This was led by Edward I against William Wallace and in history this was the battle that finally defeated William Wallace and forced him into uh, into exile almost. But it wasn't really exile, he just was into hiding, that's a better way of putting it, into hiding in Scotland. And I mean, this army's going to do the same, I'm confident. I mean, look at these, look at these boys, these English foot knights, they are ready to kill some Scots. And then we have in front of them, we have some sergeants. These guys, not as quite as uh, well armoured as their uh, foot knights. Um, and then we have some spears, who are probably the crappiest of them all, but they're going to go in first. They're going to be the meat shields. We also, over the far side, have some more English foot knights, but these are uh, later ones where they got rid of their shields and are just taken on a pole arm. Some more sergeants. And what else have we got? We've got our king. Here he is, Edward III. Looking magnificent. I mean, he's, again, I mean, it's not actually a Henry III, uh, Edward III, um, Edward III, Edward I, getting all my kings mixed up, model, because it's probably more like Henry V by, like, the armour and the, uh, coat of arms, but you just got to go with your imagination. And then, obviously, out front, we have some longbows, the, uh, classic unit by the English. So, I mean, so, it's another, uh, historical scenario for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you do, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment if there's any battles that you'd like me to try and reproduce. I'm open to all suggestions. Um, and we've also got some English knights, of course. Some mounted English knights who are opposing their Scottish counterparts. Um, and then we have some uh, other ones on this side. These are some high. And the, uh, the other ones that we just saw were some late English knights. These guys look just as cool. All very pretty in their coats of arms. So a quick level look at the Scottish army. Um, so we've got some spears over here on the flanks, supported by some Galagikes. Galogike? I'm definitely going to be pronouncing these wrong. And these are Scottish. These are slightly nearer to where I'm from. We've got some Scottish knights early. Um, and we've got some hoblars early as, like, the Scottish cavalry. I mean, since William wasn't, like, supported by lots of nobles, he hasn't got a, a massive amount of cav. That's, like, sort of the only cav he's got. Some the Galagikes there that we've just seen. He's got the Scottish pikes, which they did rely on at Falkirk um, to try and break down the English. He's got some Ettrick archers in behind, which are the most elite archers that they can bring. He's got some Scottish foot knights over here marching up, ready to get into position. And what we've got here, we've got some Highlanders, which... Um, I'm sure William Wallace had plenty of who relied a lot on his sort of more like the common Scotsman to fight his cause and uh, yeah, that, well, just fight his cause. Here we have the general, it is King's bodyguard, but you know, we've got to pretend that this is William. William Wallace is looking uh, well armoured. He's also, also looking very old. He reminds me, so this, this guy, this king reminds me a bit like Santa Claus a bit. Santa Claus with like a massive metal helmet on. I <laughs> don't know why. don't know why I was thinking that, but I, I just was. And I think that's it. There's the only... And more Galagites here and more archers. This is a pretty thick line here going on. That's going to face these uh, English knights off. I mean, the Scots are slightly outnumbered. Um, about by about... Uh, about nearly 2,000. More like 800 men. So, they are up against it. But that was how it was at Falkirk as well. It was about 15,000 English to about... Five to 6,000 Scots. So the odds are actually here are better for them. Um, ever so slightly are better. So, I mean, it's where they can rely uh, They can rely on these pikes to break down um, their English counterparts. I mean, most of the English first two lines aren't that great. Like, English spears, uh, well, spearmen, and uh, spearmen early and sergeants early are not going to be that hard to break. They're probably going to be quite easy, especially when they're going to have to probably be forced to attack pikes. The longbows are going to be a massive game changer for the English. They're going to be able to focus down those pikemen like they did at the Battle of Falkirk. Um, and it's they're going to probably be reliant on the English foot knights, the final line, to be whether they can uh, break down those uh, 
those final infantry. So, I mean, I just realized we were in uh, slow motion that entire time. So we'll just fast forward quickly up for you, guys. And we'll see uh, see what happens. Hopefully the action will get underway pretty soon. I imagine it'll start with the longbows uh, loosing some volleys when the Scots are finally in position. Which they just look, they look like they are about now. So at any moment now, I imagine we'll have some advancing or some volleys by the English. But I'd just like to thank all the Legionnaires for all their support um, as well on the channel. We are 900 amazing uh, milestone. I By the time this video comes out, I will be back at uni. So there will be slightly... There will still be plenty of videos coming out. Do not worry. But... Um, we will, there'll be a few days where I'm not uploading as well, like because of uni and stuff like that. So there'll be probably most days of the week there will still be a video coming out. But it won't be every day like I've luckily been able to do over probably the Christmas period really. So here we go, the volleys of, uh, from both sides are starting to uh, be loosed. So we'll get a point of view of the Scots because I'm sure that like the volleys from the longbows will be a lot more harrowing than the Etric archers. No offense to you guys, but you're just not a longbow unit, are you? Here we go. The first unit. Oh, some guys getting shot up. They probably should die because like taking one of these arrows, the bodkin arrows of the longbows, is going to be you're going to be down and out. But um, these brave, brave men are holding on. I'm surprised these Highlanders have shields. We're able to find shields. Highland is probably just going into battle with like clubs. I mean, look at that majestic. I mean, I don't know what this longbow formation is doing here, but it's kind of a bit scattered by the English. Little thud to the thud as all the arrows land into the ground. As you can see there, the English knights getting into position to take on the Scottish opponents of the cavalry. Um, you imagine with numbers and also quality, they are probably going to outnumber them and beat them. So the Scots probably will need to send some spears to support that engagement, and they probably could turn the tide quite quickly there. Or some Galagites, they'll be pretty handy in a, in a combat against Cav with those big heavy axes. Some pretty good volleys going off here actually from the Etric archers. They're, they're not to be messed with. Archers! Loose! There's a few dead for... I think there's a couple of dead longbows. There's an unlucky guy there. John. He didn't quite make it. It's his own fault. He should have been training better. There's a few dead bodies now for the Scots. I imagine not many people have died. The Scots have lost about 10. And the English have lost about 1. A whole 1. There you go. And the longbows... I mean, they are outnumbered, are the uh, Etric archers. As it would be, English armies are majority made up of uh, longbows. But I'm, I'm waiting for this cavalry charge. It just looks like it's getting ready. These English knights, they're looking, they're looking ready. Look at these boys. They look beautiful. Ready for war. But I mean, I think there's a two lines of sergeants going in, spears. It won't be long till these uh, archers are being told to hold their fire. And the infantry will be sent in. But if you look at this, if you were a longbow, you'd be just picking your target. There's just plenty of guys back there that you can fire at. They're just happy to stand their ground on the hill. But the Scots have to. They've got to just stand their ground on the hill. Their pikes are being a bit exposed. I don't think many of them have died. There's one that's just fallen over and died. But not too many. Here come the infantry. The pikes are going to be ready. And in comes the cav. Oh, we got. what do we watch? I think we're going to have to watch this cavalry charge. From the uh, perspective of the Scots, here it comes. The, Scot the Scottish player clearly hasn't seen this, and the cavalry is not going to be moving. They're going to get a char the English are going to get a good charge bonus. Oh, some arrows coming in at the last minute, and there we go. The Scot, the English are amongst the Scottish cavalry, and they've cut down plenty of these guys. The hoblars and the knights are not faring so well. The hoblars there not doing so well. Knights, and then these hoblars back here are actually out of the combat. Oh my gosh, I think the Hoblars did, they killed a few of their own men there, I think. But they did get a few English knights as well. But it's going to be too little too late. Look at that. They're barely throwing it, and they, because look how close they are. 
Scottish Knights breaking. Hoplars are breaking. The infantry are now amongst the, uh, the pikes doing their bit. Arrow still coming overhead. But I mean, the pikes have the range on the spears, so you imagine the spears are going to be killed off. But I mean, those archers are still doing some damage and getting some uh, kills in the guys in the back ranks. And it's a very thin line going up against quite a lot of English. You do wonder it won't be long till they break. It's, I mean, there's a lot more spears. They seem to be a bit more thick than the lines. They really should be sending some of these spears to go and help their cavalry. Because their cavalry is not in good shape. It's down to one unit of uh, hoblars. And they're just about to go. Actually, no, they're not just about to go. They're, they're fresh. But the English are pulling away, I think. They're going to try and get a fresh charge on these cavalry. We'll see. But, I mean, the pikes are holding. The pikes are holding. That guy went out of formation and paid the price. William Wallace is, uh, can be proud for now. His, in his knights... Uh, well, his men are holding. I mean, his cavalry aren't doing so well. It's actually, as, as I say that, this Pike Shiltron here is starting to waver. 53, 52 of them left. I imagine they took quite a few uh, shots from the longbows and are now uh, feeling the pressure. I mean, the Etric Arch is just firing down whether or not they hit their own men. Bit of a risk. <gasps> someone dropped the banner. No, someone pick up the banner. No. That's not good, not good. But anyway, look at this. I mean, these English knights are just having a lot of joy against these hobblers. And there you go, they've routed all them. And now they're in a, in the rear of these Galagike. Who are, I don't know whether the English knights are going to fight this or not. Possibly, who knows. These Galagike are now fighting against uh, these sergeants. I imagine it could be quite an even, even uh, fight, this one. But um, we're starting to rout. We are actually starting to rout at these uh, English knights. English knights. English spears. The knights haven't gone in yet. They're in reserve, prepared. But I mean, even though they're holding them back at these Shiltron, they are actually losing decisively. So it, isn't a, it is a matter of time before they go in. So they probably want to start sending in some swords to help support these pikes. These pikes are great, but they do need support from other stuff. Like these Galagite could go in and help out. And these other English knights on the other side haven't committed yet. Edward could be very confident himself. Wallace should start to worry. There are some holes are starting to be found in, in his defense. And like, look at this. There's a whole lot. This whole pike formation's gone. And as I say that, I think they just break. Yeah. So they're in amongst the Galagite now. The center is actually still holding for the Scots, though. They've sent Highlanders in to replace uh, the Shiltron. And they're running. Uh, there's not many of these Highlanders left. They, they won't hold themselves. The entire left flank is gone. And now the cavalry has been contended with, with some uh, dismounted Scottish knights. They just look so beautiful. It's just amazing. Everything looks great. Here we come. Another assault from these sergeants. They were like, there's so few of you left. You'd be like, why do we even bother? Why do we even bother? That guy's got a Norwegian uh, flag. Or like bet standard on his uh, on his shield. Bizarre. But yeah, these Highlanders they can feel or like Highlander spears they can feel very confident that they're gonna defeat these sergeants. As they say that they run away again. These guys, it's like nah, that's it, we're done. Again, and the same with these spears, but they won't stand long. Like this is a shield wall. Yeah, they won't stand. In they go. Try and get a kill. Yes, the men are cowards. And, I mean, if you see, if you look at it, the English don't have much infantry left, um, like, that's in the front line. If the uh, Scots committed their last few uh, units to, like, just rout these guys, they could do well. Like, if the archers started firing here, like, these English aren't even looking the right way. You get some nice easy kills off on these guys, rout these guys. But a huge rout, huge rout going on here. These guys are wavering, broken, all wavering and breaking. That's huge for the Scottish. They need to keep this up. If they can keep this up, then they'll do fine. Highlanders doing the dirty work again. More routing here by the English. 
not looking good. These cavalry on the far side as well being held up by Galgaik and uh, Scottish no, well, Scottish Foot Knights. These Etric archers need to get off more good volleys, and they'll be perfectly fine. The Highlanders holding their own now, defending their their land. As a uh, as William Wallace was saying, Braveheart, if you've watched that, you can take our land, but you can't take our freedom. But he wouldn't say it in a Scottish accent, it'd be in an Australian one. Because, um, I forgot who played William Wallace in that, in Braveheart, but he's, he's Australian. He's not, he's not Scottish. Why well, I can't remember his name now, that's going to really frustrate me for the rest of the battle, but oh well. The Foot Knights are getting ready. They're going. They're going to be in for the final charge. It would seem mop up what's left. Here we go. Can we get a? Can we get a charge here? Watch as these Foot Knights go in against the Galagai. We can, but not one that's actually in the battle. There we go. Let's watch a few of these guys. They fight it out. I imagine because they're more armored, Foot Knights will win this. But the Galagai, they've got some pretty nasty axes. And they got support from, I mean, if they send in those Scottish nobles back there, they could turn this battle around. They really could do. Looks like there's an engagement here between um, maybe those English knights. And uh, I think it might be these English knights. And the, there's a unit of Highlanders here that just got massacred. But, I mean, they're running low on stuff. I mean, there's a lot of English knights here, foot knights that are just holding their ground that are, could really get committed. I mean, look at these poor spearmen as well that are constantly just being told to turn around and charge into these spears, Highlanders. They're just like, no, not again. I don't want to fight them. They're so scary. But, I mean, this is the real fight. I mean, the Galagai could just break in as I say it. Um, but, I mean, these uh, English foot knights are just chewing through them. And there we go. That's it. They've seen they've seen too much battle of those Galagai and they've called it a day. But, I mean, if they can focus these guys down, they could certainly whittle down their numbers with arrows. They've got no shields. They've not got much ar oh, they've got armor, but that will quite easily get pierced by these arrows. But I mean, they're going to go straight into the fight, you imagine, with these uh, with these got foot noble foot knights here. I wanted to put foot nobles together for some reason. But here we go. I mean, they might. This could be quite close. They've got shields against guys that have armor piercing. It just depends. I think they've got the numbers though of the uh, foot knights that they could overwhelm these guys. Here we go. I think this is the final charge. Got foot knights going in against Highlanders. They certainly won't hold. Just the sheer quality difference is going to tell. Oh! That guy getting beheaded. Poor Highlander. He just tries to defend his home. And he loses his head for it. And that guy's getting stabbed in the neck. Oh, and he loses his head. So many guys losing heads now. And here we go. I think this is it. It's mopping it up. I mean, these cavalry are actually still being held up against these uh, these Scottish knights and Galagat. They should really have left and recharged, but they have the numbers elsewhere to the English that they don't need to. Who's that breaking? Sergeants. Okay, it's not the English foot knights yet. But, I mean, these spears are now getting flanked by foot knights. So their whole shield wall's kind of gone, gone to pot. And now the king's in there. He's fighting foot knights. And it's going to... Oh, well, not the king. William Wallace. And, he, and here comes Ed with the first. He's coming for William's head. What a charge. Great charge. There he is, William. Is he is he near Henry? Not Henry. Um, Edward. I keep mixing up my kings. There he is. He Edward's making a beeline for him. He's very close. They're getting closer and closer. Oh, I'll have a swipe at him. William is getting pretty beaten up here by a uh, by bodyguard of uh, Edwards. Uh, Edwards had enough. He's going to go and find some easier kill. Swing, Wallace! Swing! But I mean, these uh, these foot knights are getting pretty beaten up. But I mean, I think they'll be okay because the king's here. I mean, but at the same time, they're under threat. These Etric archers. I mean, they're running low on ammo now. There he is, he's dead. Wallace is dead, I didn't see him die. 
Where is he? I can't see him. He's going to be in the mess down here somewhere. But that is going to be it for the uh, for the Scottish. Wallace is dead. There he is. There he is. Wallace dead on the ground. R.I.P. The rebellion is over. He's not going to get hung in a uh, hung, drawn, and quartered in London like he did in history. Look at these. These English knights are trying to power through these Scottish foot knights, and they are going to do so. These Gallagher really need to go in and try and just help out. They're not really actually in combat, but they will be soon. These Ettrick archers, I'm sure, have got loads of kills. They've probably done an amazing job. The king is now running down some of those Ettrick archers that have annoyed him all day. Longbows have done okay, but I think they held their fire for most of the battle just to stop friendly fire. And there was kind of, they didn't need to constantly be firing, they did have the numbers. And in the end, and the sheer quality to punch it through, those, those pikes couldn't quite hold them back. So it does look like this is going to follow history. And the Battle of Falkirk is going to be an English victory again. And Wallace will be uh, killed in a different way on the battlefield this time. Instead of, like I said, at the executioner's block or rope. But I mean, these Galagaik are going to take a few more nobles with them. A few more disgustingly rich English nobles with their armor and horse. Why are you using a mace like that? Why are you prodding it? Why are you prodding with a mace? That's not going to do any effect, pal. Oh, another good charge from the other English knights coming in. And that's going to be those Galagite gone. Yeah. I still... There's still men running? Wow. And this is the final defense by the, uh, by the Scottish. Some Scottish foot knights holding that. I've just broken 105. Wow. A close victory. Um... There you go. We'll have a look. I mean, they, like I said, they were outnumbered about 800. They lost about half of their army did the English. A lot of them being the lower tier stuff. Um, English foot, uh, English knights getting about 150 kills there. That was really good. Um, the king, Edward the First, obviously Longshanks loving to be in the fight. He's got 130 odd kills. Those English foot knights getting about 80, 90 kills themselves. English foot knights getting around like 100 odd kills each. That one getting 144. Those Etric archers, I told you guys, they would have got a lot of kills. 116. Some Galagite getting 172 and 173. Some very good kills. Pike's not doing as well as you hope, but they probably did get focused on by longbows. And the cavalry did very little, but they got did get surprise charged. And Scottish foot knights not doing as well as they thought they would. Getting about 30 kills um, on average, really, there. Bit of a shame. Highlander's actually doing quite well on 92. That's quite amazing. And William only getting 30 kills and dying for uh, his treachery to the English crown. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that battle, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for all the support so far. Like I said, if you've got any suggestions for historical battles that you want me to try and recreate, um, just please let me know in the comments and I'll uh, take them in mind and do them for future videos, perhaps. But until next time, Legionnaires, Bye for now.